Hi, everyone. Those that are not here, uh, make sure you guys subscribe, like, and hit the notification uh, button. Make sure you share, share, share the stories about Lauren Smith Fields. Uh, she was found dead in her apartment by her online dating, uh, online online date. Okay, you guys, I'll be right back in a few minutes. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button, like, and share. the same. I don't know who I'm going to be. Without a doubt, we know that my daughter was not a drug user, and I had a second autopsy myself, we paid out of pocket, because we felt so uncomfortable with the way I him about the guy. He just made it seem like the guy was a nice guy. It was nothing to investigate. The only contact that we have had was from a very insensitive, condescending, and arrogant she detective. sent a really well-written email, and I was shocked when just yesterday she told me she had not even received it. not the same. I don't know who I'm going to be after this. Everywhere you go, everywhere you go, you belong. Anywhere you said, anywhere you said, anywhere.
Hi guys, this is CBW Podcast. I'm sorry I didn't come on at the time I needed to. Sometimes it's hard to download these videos and try to get them together. Um, so I am going to gather more information about this story because the autopsy is not out yet, or nor, you know, I think some other information as well. The guy that she was dating, his information is not being revealed at this time. So this will be a short live and I will be talking and giving my opinion about this situation here. I don't have much evidence to go off on. I don't have a police report. I don't have any type of autopsy report that has been posted online. This happened December the 12th of last year of 2021. Um, and it was just uh, what just uh, not even a month yet, it haven't even been a month yet that this happened. But people are actually fighting for justice for Lauren Smith Fields. And not only the people, not only her fans, but her family is trying to seek for justice for their daughter. Um, from the information that I got offline, um, the source is, um, let, me, let me give you guys the source, but I will tag their links down in the description box. Make sure you guys tap the link so you can read the full story about Lauren Smith Fields out of Connecticut, Bridgeport, Connecticut. Okay. Um, the source is girlsunitedessence.com. This is where I'm going to be reading from. Um Make sure you guys check the description box and make sure you um, so you guys can get the, more information about this story. OK, you guys, let me read some things to you guys. Uh, Connecticut family uh, seeks an answers after their daughter was found unresponsive in her apartment. I'm going to sum this up a little bit. Um, Lauren Smith Fields uh, apparently met someone online on Bumble. I never heard of this online dating site before. This was my first time ever hearing anything about this online dating app. Um, I do not seek out people online. Okay, I don't date anybody offline unless they are in our hometown or I know them or something like that. You know, it's just you you can't just, you know, just be online dating anyone because it can be very dangerous. As we see, um, <clears throat> that's what happened to Lauren Smith Fields. OK, after she went out on a date with someone, I don't know if she knew this guy beforehand, but it's saying that she met him online. And after she met him online, she was found dead by her date that she, you know, found online. So, uh, so, okay. The, the parents are trying to get some information from Bridgeport, Connecticut police department. Okay. So from what I'm hearing, from what I'm, what I'm hearing, what I'm reading online, that the autopsy report results have not been revealed and the family did their own autopsy report because the police department is not trying to give them any information on their daughter, which I think is, um, which I think is kind of suspicious, very suspicious to me for them not to reveal information to a family about their daughter if the online person that she met online didn't have anything to do with it. You know, I'm just only giving my opinion about the whole situation. When you start seeing, like I, I mentioned to you guys before in my last videos, when you start seeing strange things like this, just remember there's somebody, you know, out there that has something to do with somebody's murder. I mean, all this strange behavior going on with the police department. And I mean, even with the person she dated online and, and from the, the reports, I'm going to read it to you from what we got from the police department uh, statement that he was a nice guy. 
they were saying because that they didn't investigate him because he was a nice guy. This is a statement here you guys can take a look at and read and you can pause it and, you know, finish off listening to this live. Um, they said there was um, the command staff of the detective bureau is reviewing the handling of the case to ensure that the best practices were and are being followed. It is imperative. It is imperative. Okay, hold on, you guys. Gotta turn the volume down on my other phone. Okay, so you guys can take a look at that statement just a second ago. But this right here is another um, lady. She's on TikTok. She actually inboxed Bumble, the dating site, and here's the message that she received back from Bumble. So you guys can take a look at that and read that. I got that also again in. Um, I think I got it. Yeah, I have it. It's here in this uh this video here. So you guys, uh, she went and and contacted Bumble and and just wanted Bumble to speak out about the situation because apparently uh, Lauren went online and met this guy through Bumble, and so you know they haven't even released any information nor um any evidence nor anything to the family about the uh, phone calls, messages that she was, you know, going back and forth with the unidentified white male she met online. And, you know, like I say, this is very strange. All this stuff is so strange how the police department, Bumble, all these other people are not releasing information to, to the family of Lauren Smithfield. That's what I keep telling you guys. Look at Kind of pay attention to all these things here because something is very fishy with this whole situation here. Okay, I don't know anything about Bumble. All I know, they put out a statement. You guys will see it in the video. So you guys can go back and look at it. You will see it in the video. They did put out a statement about sexual assault and all kinds of things that, that happens or anything. Like, they don't condone that type of behavior. So I, I don't know anything about Bumble. I just first heard about it when this happened to Lawrence Smithfield. So, so, um, so let me read a, a few things here. It says a family in Bridgeport, Connecticut has been struck by tragedy and left with questions after their 23 year old daughter was found unresponsive in her apartment. Lauren Smith Fields was found on December the 12th after she met with an unidentified white male from the online dating app Bumble, according to Westchester News 12. I want to give credit to them for the video, the interview they did with the family. Uh, the man had reportedly contacted police about Smithfield State, uh, but was not detained for questioning. So the guy that she was dating online was a never questioned, never was arrested. And I do feel like he needs to be questioned and he needs to be um, somehow made accountable for something, something that transpired that, that may cause her death. OK. Uh, Smithfield's brother, Lakeen Jetter, said authorities described this man as a nice guy with no need to be investigated or foul play for foul play. So. Um, so they, they they you know, this is kind of arrogance to me for the police department to even say such a thing, thing like this. I have met people in a high positions and authority to speak this way. And very, very manipulative, uh, very arrogant uh, when they are in positions like this. Um, people, some people that are in positions like this, they don't take their job really serious. OK, so this authority, whoever he was, whatever his name is, told the family that this white guy was a nice guy. He don't need to be investigated. He don't need to be questioned. He found her dead. Yes, he do needs to be questioned. Why he don't need to be questioned? Why he don't need to be investigated? He is the first suspect. He's the first suspect. Even if you guys feel like he didn't do anything, you know, he still is a suspect. Okay, so this is this is just crazy how authorities even um, you could tell there's a little favoritism with this guy here because the one of you know I think as a police guy said he was a nice guy. There's some favoritism. You know, maybe they know each other. 
you know, and, and, you know, that's a conflict of interest. And, and that's how it is sometimes in, you know, the police department and people that are in high positions, they always trying to take up for their friends, their cousins, their aunties and uncles, you know, so they kind of abuse their authority in a way, you know, so I'm not saying that he did know him, but the way he responded about this guy, it's like he knew him. He's a nice guy. How do you know he's a nice guy? You don't, you don't supposed to know this guy. You don't, you know, it's not your family, you know, allegedly it's not your family. So you guys, this whole situation right here is very strange to me. And you guys have to look out for this type of behavior. This type of behavior right here is, um, needs to be questioned. Okay. So anyway, Smith, Smith feels was described, Lauren was described by her family as a beautiful child with the world at her feet. Okay, so her family are saying good things about her and then they was they were saying that she wasn't doing any drugs. You know, every time when somebody died like that, they always say, oh, they did drugs, they did an overdose and all this and that. You telling me that the person she was dating didn't see her doing any of this stuff? He's the one that called the police. So I'm just trying to figure out what's going on, why they're not investigating this guy. But we do see we have some civil rights activists that are going to deal with this case. They're going to help the family with this case. Because I know a lot of people are tired of seeing people that are in high positions take up for their friends, their families and mishandling cases. We need to change. We need to change uh, the guards in the and the police department, we need to change the faces because some of these people are related to these people that are getting getting in trouble. You know, so, and that's true. Sometimes it is that way. And this is something else that the family has spoken out and said. They said, without a doubt, we know that my daughter was not a drug user and I had a second autopsy myself paid out of pocket because we felt so uncomfortable with the way it was handled. Okay, so... I mean, this is crazy where the family had to do their own autopsy. You know, there's there's a cover up. OK, there's some type of cover. up. They always say somebody on drugs. You guys, if you ever hear about me and they tell my idea of overdose and drugs. That's a lot from hell because I don't do any drugs at all, nor even drink. So they always try to cover up something, you know, because that's that's weird. You know, that's so weird. And since they're kind of sending Okay, so the city of Bridgeport, they did issue a statement, and you guys saw it at the first beginning of the video. Make sure you go back and look at it. You can pause it, go back. You can always go back while I'm on live, okay? The city of Bridgeport issued a statement about the investigation in the case saying that Bridgeport, Bridgeport Police Department takes these concerns very seriously. Evidently, you don't, because evidently, it don't look like they're taking it serious because... The guy, one of the officers said, he's a nice guy. He's a nice guy. I don't care what kind of face money someone has. That do not mean they are nice people. There are broke, nice people. Okay. So, um, I'm so sorry for what happened to her, but we are going to do whatever we can to try to fight for justice for Lauren Smith fields. And we do want this man to be questioned. We want his identity. Because we don't want no one else to meet this guy online and this happen again. Okay? We don't want this anymore. We don't want to this to continue to happen. Okay? So you guys, make sure you um, subscribe to my channel. Make sure you like, share, and make sure you hit the notification button when I'm coming on live. I'm sorry that some of my lives don't be on time. But I have to I try to upload videos to this site that I'm on and to um, to make sure I'm giving you guys the right information. But I haven't got no information about an autopsy report. I haven't got no information about the Polish report or anything like that. No statements or anything. So I will be coming back with a part two. if We hear anything else out there. But I want to say this. I did see a lot of comments that was. um that was uh, talking about she's divest or something like this, some type of group of women that don't black, a group of black women that don't date black men or, you know, 
uh, they don't date black men, but they date white men. So there's a group that haven't even talked about this situation and everybody wondering why they haven't talked about this situation. I don't affiliate with that group because um, there are some black men that do have some bad behaviors. They do, they do commit crimes like this. So I don't affiliate myself with that group because it's, it's kind of one sided for me. So So there's a lot of rumors going around about that group. And I want to talk about um, it was something else that I, I saw uh, also online. Oh, yeah, that I saw something else online about this young lady. She was trying to blame Lauren, Lauren Smith Fields for her own demise. Um, don't never blame the victim for someone else's actions towards them. That's something you do not do. I don't care if she was dating a white man, black man, pink man, because this happened in every race. You know, black people kill black women. Uh, white men kill black women, white women. This stuff happened in all races. There's no discrimination, you know, when it comes to murder at all, period. Um, but sometimes, you know, um, Sometimes some people out there like serial killers, they do target a particular color. They do uh, do that and they get this, you know, they have some type of sick sickness in their mind or whatever. But there is a particular, you know, there are particular serial killers that do target a particular race, you know. So but anyway, I'm not affiliated with the diverse community where whoever they are. Um, I remember getting on their chat one day. They are very like. They're so emotional. They're emotional women, very emotional women, um, very emotional. I said something on their live one day and I wasn't trying to be mean or anything. I thought somebody misworded something. So I went back and I tried to reword it or something like that. They just got all emotional. So I don't affiliate with them because they are too motion. They are too emotional and they're where they wear their emotions on their sleeves. OK, if this you know, this is not about Lauren Smith Fields just being a woman that just dating white men. That was her preference. If she wanted to date white men, that's her preference. But her being killed is not her fault. Her being murdered is not her fault. Period. That's not her fault. You know, so I'm just saying this is this is stop this victim blaming situation there's no accountability in in this what she need to take accountability when she's dead now there's a lot of people that date online a lot of people do and they do not all be killed or murdered this person whoever killed her have some type of history of doing this this is not the first time this person have done this so i mean we just got to stop this victim blaming. Stop looking at, oh, she date. that's what she get for dating. No, this don't have anything to do with it. If she felt like she wanted to date white men, let her date white men. You know, let her date. This lady was only 23 years old. She was only 23. She wasn't 40 and 50 years old. She was 23 years old. She was a beautiful young lady. Um, it looked like she was trying to you know, really reach for the stars. And I like that, you know, that motivation she had. But I did see some things that she was dealing with emotionally. You know, some things that she really was dealing with. You know, I looked at all her videos. I, you know, I, I watched, I went all on all her pages um, to, to see what type of girl she was. You know, we all deal with certain things in our life. You know, we do. And, um, we we really do, you know, and I do believe she probably was going through some a few things, but I don't think drugs were was the issue, you know. I don't think she was on drugs or anything like that. But that, you know, that's what the father mentioned in the news report, you know. So I, I you know, so like I said, I don't have as much information on this case, but there, I want to know about the autopsy report, and I do want to know who this white man is that she met online. 
I want to know what's going on because I don't want to be, you know, maybe one day I want to go and rumble and try to find me a date. Then all of a sudden he just pops up. Ooh, I'm a good man for you. You know, then boom, I'm dead. You know, so they need to reveal who this guy is because that that's like, I think it can cause a lawsuit with rumble. If they bumble, I think it bumble, you know, so they, they need to reveal this information about this man. And I think that is very suspicious to me. They don't need to even have him on their site anymore. You know, they need to reveal this guy, you know, because I wouldn't want to be in prisons of this man. And so, you know, every time he meets somebody, they die. You know, I'm just saying. Uh, so you guys make sure you guys. Um, I want to do a disclaimer too on all the comments and stuff in the video. Uh, the views and opinions in this video and the comments on this channel do not necessarily reflect or represent the views and opinions by this channel broadcaster. I'm using a copyright disclaimer on the section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976 allowance made for fair use. All this information is alleged and most of the information is true about what happened to her. I'm only uh, speculating uh, about this situation about what possibly happened to her. What I'm going to do is read more into this situation, but uh, I do think there was something going on with her. Uh, I looked at all her pictures from when she was a baby, from, I mean, when she was a little girl all the way up and she has videos on her page and, you know, I was just looking at all, everything, her transformation. Um, and they also said she had a YouTube channel uh, so you guys, if you find that, you know, just go and take a look at her information and videos and stuff and how she was as a person. I think she was a very beautiful person. She was just trying to uh, strive, like reach for the stars. She was trying to reach for the stars and her parents want answers. So, OK, you guys, make sure you strive, like and share, share, share. The same. I don't know who I'm gonna be. Without a doubt, we know that my daughter was not a drug user, and I had a second autopsy myself. We paid out of pocket because we felt so uncomfortable with the way it's about the guy. He just made it seem like the guy was a nice guy. It was nothing to investigate. The only contact that we have had was from a very insensitive, condescending, and arrogant. She sent a really well written email, and I was shocked. When just yesterday she told me she had not even received. Not the same. 